Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some bullish crypto trades, things that you can trade in the stock market to go ahead and actually make massive returns on this next leg of the crypto bull run. If you're new here and you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. I talk a lot about options trading to build your wealth so you can achieve financial freedom. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and let's dive into the charts. Diving into the charts, we're looking at Mara and Riot. These are the crypto mining companies. Mara has a market cap of 5 billion and Riot has a market cap approaching 3 billion. We're looking at Mara on the daily chart using the Heiken Ash candles. The Heiken Ashi candles make it easier to spot momentum. What we're seeing is a stochastic hit a peak here, 86 and flatlined, continue to slowly climb as the MACD bottomed and is turning to head up as we're just starting this run. RSI peaking and starting to flatten a bit. Typically, we see stochastic hits over 70 to 80. It flatlines as the RSI continues to head higher. When we see this, we usually see momentum continue. Mara really broke out of this ascending triangle because Bitcoin is approaching its all-time high. Bitcoin also broke out of the wedge. If we see Bitcoin push to the all-time high, it's likely to rocket up higher. And then on that momentum, these crypto miners will continue to move up higher as well, having an explosive move. That's the whole basis behind the trades for today. So I'm going to show you some potential options positions that we can look at in terms of what kind of returns we can get with certain expirations on Riot and Mara. Mara is showing more strength than Riot at the moment, but in the past, Mara and Riot take turns. Mara may outperform Riot and then it'll switch roles. Riot just broke out of this descending triangle here to the upside. There's resistance with the 50-day moving average being 31.14 and currently trading at 30.84. So if we get a break above this 50-day and a hold, then we're really in the seat to move higher. So we're seeing increased volume as we bottom and we're starting to curl on the daily chart. These are all really bullish signs for Riot. Stochastic is turning to head up strongly. RSI turning to head up strongly. Breaking this downtrend here that we see, consistent downtrend. So if we if we really get that RSI closer to uh, 70, then we're really gonna be pushing towards that 40 to 50 range. I personally took some bullish call option trades expiring in two weeks at the end of October and expiring December 17th because I'm expecting Riot to actually push up closer towards the 40 mark in the next two weeks and then potentially hitting that 50 mark or higher in the next one to two months. Some red flags here is the RSI is still continuing to downtrend even though it's flicking up here on the weekly chart. If it continues to downtrend, that means that this is gonna be short-lived and you know, at best, we'll push up to like 32 to 35 and then trade sideways or down. We would like to see the RSI be higher on the weekly. That's one of the biggest red flags here. But we're seeing that bottoming turning to head up on the weekly on the stochastic and the MACD as well, bottoming turning to head up. But we're still really early on Riot. Where Mara has a higher probability to continue up in the short term, but also a higher probability to top out in the medium term and then maybe possibly take a sell uh, an aggressive downtrend. Whereas Riot has more fuel to run. There's more to run here on Riot compared to Mara. And it's because of the reasons I said. Mara's already had the big push and it could top out near the all-time highs, could top out around 60 and then come down. Whereas Riot, if it continues to push up, there's so much more room to run on Riot in comparison with Mara based on the technicals. This trade really does rely on where Bitcoin is trading. I'm, I'm really expecting Bitcoin to push aggressively towards that 70,000 mark within the next two to four weeks. And if that does happen, then typically Riot and Mara move double what Bitcoin does. So the next month, if we see Bitcoin move from 64,000 up to 70,000, that's about eight and a half percent which means that we could see at least a 16% move in Riot and Mara. A 16% move on Riot would be $35. And a 16% move on Mara would be around the 62, 63 mark. Using those numbers, we can take a look at the options calculator and see what kind of returns we could potentially get if we believe that Riot's gonna move to 35, 36 within the next two weeks. And we think that Mara's gonna move to that 63 level within the next two weeks four weeks. Let's say we choose the December 17th expiration because that gives us 60 days for this play to work out. But more importantly, we think the move is going to happen within 14 to 28 days, which means we have well over 30 days left till expiration, which is a lot of theta time value in them. The call contract's going to hold more of its value as the stock moves. So if we think Riot's going to be at 35 or higher within the next month, then we could take a look at the 32 strikes slightly out of the money. Maybe theoretically we want to take around a $10,000 position. 
then we're gonna calculate based on if Riot is trading anywhere from 30 to $40 over the next two months. And we're gonna see how that looks on the chart here. Let's say Riot crosses that $35 mark at the end of October. Well, we'd be looking at about 45% return within two weeks. And that's about 4,680 US dollars on the $10,000 position. What we could see, which is less probability, but it's possible, is the massive run upwards toward about 60 in the next one to two months. So if we take a look at Riot when it's 60, if we take a look at Riot hitting 60 within one month, that's about mid-November, well, then we'd be getting a profit of about 46,000 US within the span of less than one month on that $10,400 US position, choosing the December 17th expiration. What could also happen is maybe it takes two months. All right, well, if it takes two months, we would still get that 400% rate of return sitting at 45,600 in the profit. And the reason why these two profits are basically the same is because the intrinsic value is so huge from choosing the 32 strike to the stock being $60. So if you thought that Riot would push towards 60 within the next two months, well, you wouldn't choose the 32 strike, you would probably choose the 40 or the 50 strike. And let's take a look at what would happen if you chose the 40 or the 50 strike on Riot, because again, you believe Riot's gonna push up to 60 within the next one to two months. Using the same dollar amount, if Riot hits 60 within one month, your profit would now be 669% on the trade instead of 400% on the trade. But this is a very slim probability compared to the other trade I said. And typically, I, if, I'm, if I'm trading options, I like to go for the higher probability 50 to 100% returns, not the moonshot 600% returns. If Riot trades sideways in one month, you lose over half the value of the call contract. Half your money is gone if Riot just trades sideways, not even go down, if it goes sideways. So you hold on to much more value if you choose to strike closer to the money. But let's not ignore Mara because Mara is showing more strength than Riot in the short term. In the next two to four weeks, Mara can move more aggressively than Riot does, but then top out and sell off. For the Mara trade, we might wanna choose the November 19th expiration and choose the 55 strike because we think Mara is gonna hit 60 within the next two to four weeks. We use that same $10,000 worth, works out to 17 contracts, and we think Mar is gonna trade anywhere from 50 to let's say a top of 65. If Mar hits 60 in two weeks, again, we get that 40% rate of return. And just a couple of minutes later, it looks like Bitcoin is really making that push upwards. I personally have over 50,000 US worth of calls in Riot and Mara. We'll see how the trade develops. I'll update you as we go. If Bitcoin does not break all time high and continue to push up, then I will lose a significant portion of money on the trade. I have defined risk levels of when I would cut the losses on these calls. If we take a look at Lux Algo, Lux Algo on Bitcoin indicated a buy around 40,000 and it's been continued to push up on the weekly chart. If we take a look at Lux Algo on Riot, it still has a sell, but if you take a look on the daily chart, it's showing that it's just beginning because Lux Algo is indicating a buy as we curl up here and we can continue to push up. If we do continue to push up over the next one, two days, then on the weekly chart, we'll also see a buy. And then if we see a buy on the weekly chart for Riot, this is gonna be absolutely mooning. Last time we got a buy signal on Riot on the weekly chart, we actually saw Riot move 3,800% over the course of seven months. On the weekly chart, Lux Algo signaled a buy quite a while back. This is also why I believe we could top out at about 65 to 70. If you're playing Mara, I'd be looking to play it more in the next two to four weeks. If you're playing Riot, I would be more patient. It could take more time to develop. And if you need to be patient, you're gonna wanna choose a longer dated expiration being 60 days or higher to make up for the volatility in the short term as we're undecided. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think crypto is gonna be bullish over the next two to four weeks? Or do you think we're gonna put out a double top on Bitcoin and then continue a bear market? Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.